This vehicle looks more intact than the others. Okay, the one at the bottom. This vehicle looks more intact than the others. This vehicle looks more. Okay. They look like they've been stripped of usable parts. Well, but he doesn't really want to interact with the vehicle. Uh, mm -hmm. What's this? Large hatch. It's rusted shut. Do we still ha have the crowbar? Yep. I've scraped off the rust. Well, let's see what we've got here. Engine. Let's see if I can manage this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I won't be holding onto this engine for long. I have no use for it. Fair That's enough. never stopped you before. <laughs> Belt. All right. Box. I have no use for it. I can't get it open. Okay. Fair I have no use okay. for okay. it. Okay. 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 Um. These cars look really, really old. Yeah, they look kind of like our day cars. Uh, older, I'd say like 1950s, 60s. Uh, yeah. Or, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they no, definitely true. look old. True. Um, yeah. What's this? Oh, ha. Oh, hey. Now look what I see. The wings of a baddie and his little trainee. Why is everyone we meet crazy? Crazy, he says. Oh my, oh dear. I assure you, my comrades, there's nothing to fear. Just little lost me, your brother knight errant. A brother in arms. We have different parents. Who are you? Who are, Who are you? you rhyming? My name is my secret. You can't make me talk. I ruined my puzzle. Give a key to my lock. Maybe we'll just call you screw loose. <laughs> Joker, he seems for sure not an ace. He needs a small clue to spare him disgrace. For the crowds who adore me, Prime is my name. By now, no doubt, you've heard of my fame. How do you survive down here? I'm a soldier by trade. Legion built me to last. My armor is sturdy, my pistons are fast. I carry no guns, for my weapons my mind. And those who would kill me will find themselves cried. Really, don't you think you're overdoing it? I mean, that barely made sense. And it hardly rhymed. No. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was the worst. That was the worst. Why are you here? When we laid down our arms, my medal was taken. Drunk of honor from the cause we forsaken. The Metropolitan Thief cast it deep in this hole, where now it lies buried like bituminous coal. Hogs and gears, bituminous coal! You're looking for a medal? No, my comrade, you've misunderstood. I sit here and wait, as a penitent should. If the medal finds me, I shall claim it straight. But until that day, I shall sit here and wait. Why Primer? There's nothing so gorgeous, flawless, or fine as the perfectly indivisible numbers of prime. Consider this list two to one ninety nine. Yeah, that's prime numbers. Yeah. Well, that was helpful. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell. Linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Uh, is that the code? For the tower? Hmm. No idea. It could have something to do with it. There, I, I'm pretty sure there were too many numbers, but... Yeah, like just uh, the first few. Or... Yeah. So boss, are you planning on getting rebooted by another giant robot? Because I wouldn't mind a little advanced warning. It's really stressful. I'll let you know. Okay, let's explore the uh, this whole area and then go back there and see if... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can maybe use Warning. the kit here. Factor facilities decommissioned. Enter at own risk. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. Uh, this? What? Yes, I think so. It's some kind of broken down robot. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. For now, that thing's best to keep it. Well, okay. Yes. There's no way to reach it while that thing is standing there. 
Why are you so afraid of... Okay. <laughs> um... Okay. Hmm. Like hit him in the head with a crowbar? <laughs> I don't want to provoke it. Okay. No. <laughs> Alright. Warning. Factor facilities decommissioned. Enter at own risk. Okay. Is there anything we can maybe find here? There's nothing worth bothering with. Okay, let's go back. Let's go here. Oh, okay. I can't reach it from here. Right. It's a huge crane. Um. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? No. Yep. <laughs> keypad. I wonder if that keypad controls the bridge. Hmm. Crispin, can you maybe? Crispin, can you try typing something into that keypad? If by typing you mean ramming my face, then yes, boss, <laughs> I suppose I can. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, yes. Three, four. Okay, at least it's only like three digits. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a prime? Two, three, five? No? It's not a prime though. Um... Any idea? I can't remember the list. I wonder if 173 might be a prime number, but I'm not sure at all. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. I was thinking about um, hmm, the first like two, three, five are the first. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not yeah. Um, okay, um, maybe go back and see if um, hmm, we can use one of the uh, three digit prime numbers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe potentially. I don't want that sludge in my joints. What? Uh, oh, okay. I clicked the water <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not clicking there. Do you know anything about the bridge? Do you know anything about that locked bridge past the cars? What I know is a vault not tied with a key, which only a fool would open for free. Fine. What do you want? What is that a fool or peddler is he who opens his locks for merely a fee? I repeat, what do you want? Nothing more than to sit here and see. If you pour interlopers are smarter than me. Boss, can we use the plasma torch on him? No. <laughs> There's a dangerous looking robot just past here. Yeah, aren't you worried he's gonna eat you or something? I've seen him quite often, though he'll not see me. And so we are happy as neighbors can be. Can you hide us from him? If I could, I would not, but the choice is not mine. There's no room in his brain to be for the primed. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Okay, um, so the first, um, hmm, three digit prime number is 101. Oh, yeah. Let's try that. So it's 101, 103. Uh, here we go again. 107, 109, 113, and so on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. One uh, one maybe? No? Hmm. <laughs> one oh three. One oh seven. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Do you look it up? <laughs> Uh, one two seven. Yeah, one two seven. I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One three one. Like it's not that. One, two, yeah, no, maybe it's none of those. 
Like maybe accidentally it is, but there must be another another clue somewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh God, what are we missing? Okay, um, let's see. Crispy, do you have a yeah? Someone around maybe. here's gotta know something no. about how to get that bridge to go down, boss. Yes. But maybe Crispin can uh, move that uh, cable. Uh, you think? He can? Up, up upstairs. I don't know. Let, let's um. Since we're already here. I have nothing to say. Okay. Here. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to talk to us. Okay. Uh. They this? seem to be foundation supports for the city above. Those are all that's supporting the city. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's go up. Uh, let's see. Crispin, can you fly uh, around the cable and push it off the street? Mm. But didn't you just say it's too yep. dangerous to get close to it? I'm giving you a chance to impress her, Crispin. Just fly up high enough that you don't get close to the sparks. Fine. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. Whee! Repair bot. Excuse me. Can't you say I'm working? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You do know this ship is never gonna fly again, right? You're right about that. This old airing bus could hardly fly to begin with. Still, there might be some parts here that Metromine can use to get another bus up and running. Anyway, what do you want? Hey, boss, ask him about his helper. Wow. <laughs> A lot okay. of options. What happened here? What does it look like? Harry Buss's motor gave out and crashed into the only bridge leading from Main Street to the rest of the city center. Was anyone on board? Sure, but they've already been salvaged. Salvaged? Not repaired? You can't repair without parts. You can't get parts without salvage. What about building new parts? Yeah, me and what factory. Look, everyone wants to spot bugs, but no one wants to write code. You got a better way to run the city? Go out and build one. Otherwise, get with the program. You mentioned Metromind. Yeah, sure. She's in charge of this big circuit board we call Metropole. What can you tell me about her? What do I look like? The information kiosk? Yep. I wanna know what I think? Metro Mind is the best thing that ever happened in this place. Really? Really. You, me, all these other machines grinding about are just tools in the toolbox. But Metro Mind, she's got the master plan. Progress. Got a nice ring to it, too. So is part of the master plan crashing buses into roads? Look, there's plenty of rust to go around, but Metromine's the only one scrubbing. Not her fault that some of the metal's too far gone. It looks to me like you're the one scrubbing, not Metromine. Like I said, I'm just a tool in the box. Now, I gotta get back to work. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 exactly, no, no, no. Again. What do you want? Um, we can find a power source, I'm curious about to help her. <laughs> but down in the yes. underworks, I came across a drawbridge that someone locked up so it can't be used. Do you know how to fix it? Well, Metromine closed off the underworks for public safety, so I don't do repairs there anymore. Uh, but what? That sounds like a prank pulled by a bolt brain calling himself Primer. He used to hack locks at Metropole and change the passcodes around to leave his signature. How did you fix the locks? Metromine cracked his codes and reset them. Processing power like hers, there's nothing she can't do. You know, boss, I've got a feeling that Metro Mind isn't gonna help us on this one. No, but we're not exactly new to cracking codes either. We have the code, the, 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 the that thing. The Encryption model. There we yeah. go. Let's ask him about You're his again. helper. What do you want? Mm -hmm. My friend is curious about your helper. No, oh, she's just a sidekick factor built. Thousands of them rolled off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Really not much more than a floating lantern, and headlamps are a lot cheaper. She says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. <laughs> um... Since you're so close to her, do you know how I can talk to Metromine? Ha! <laughs> talk to Metromine. Look, Metromine has an entire city to run, but her eyes and ears are everywhere. If she wants to talk to you, she will. 
I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. It scraper. After the last big cave in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. He's on the simple side, but a hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it probably. That's what most of us do for Metromine these days. Stole it. Hey, you say router, I say router. Anyway, not my problem. Who says router? <laughs> I, I I don't know. Where can I find Scraper? Do I look like a tour guide? Yeah. Piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. <laughs> Do you know where I can find a power source? If I did, I'd have salvaged it myself and brought it to the tower. When will the bridge be passable? Soon? So I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. A month? Give or take. And there's no other way off Main Street? Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. Goodbye. Uh -huh. I guess the pilot didn't see the stoplight. Okay. What's this? I'm pretty sure that wiring isn't up to code. Dear friend, Oswald Factorville at your service. It's no more your dear friend than Rex as your creation, you besotted gear oiler. Oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better, better. I'll show you bitter, you backbiting boss snatcher. I think I like these guys, boss. <laughs> What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is not. And first come, first served. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorville, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex Cornelius built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 1023 flops short of a kilo if you catch my drift. The machine's name is Oswald Built. Rex Oswald Built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! This is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? Would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispy and for all I care. As long as you still pull things off ledges for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, for the law. Please excuse my brother. Mm. He barely oh. remember pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. Four. I rest my case. Suffice it to say, old chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro mine, perhaps? Authoritative, to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for the good of all. And since the subway schemer, he means Metro Mind, shut down our builder factor, he cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I built a robot before, and I have no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reason to be sound? Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What do I say? I say that you are a liar and a thief, Oswald. But as to this Horatio, well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. Shh. Right here. Consider this. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for the party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? Is this some kind of vocab test? I said quiet. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. Blasted stone wireless. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous! Pay attention. Factor or stone wireless. Quad core, linear type, or multiplex. Indeed. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilities. 
First, there were more factor-built robots than Stern Weiler does. Second, every Lineotype robot was built by factor. Finally, Stern Weiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probability circle cannot possibly be true? There are seven of them. Each of them is either a factor built or a stern viler. So factor is stern viler. They are linear quad core or a multiplex. multiplex. And linear builds are only built by factor, factor. and Steinweiler never built any quads. So Steinweiler only built multiplex. Yes. Um, and they were more factor than yes. stern viler. Yeah. Uh, five robots have linear processor, five robots have quad core, five robots have multiplex. Okay, which one of this is, n is impossible? That's the question, right? Yeah. Okay, but if there's um, seven, and the majority of them are built by factor, then four robots can't be built by Sternweiler, right? Yes. Yeah. Four robots were built by Sternweiler. Good show! The preceding facts are unchanged. Now, answer this. Okay. If exactly two factor-built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Okay, must be true. Yeah, exactly must be true. two have the same. Uh, two factor builds. Yeah. yeah. One of the seven robots has a quad-core processor. Turnval never built quad-core, which means uh, one of the seven robots has a quad-core. This. Is I don't, I don't think But it, it could be um, that no robot has a quad core processor. Yes, that's exactly true. Mm. Um, like, exactly two have the same. Is that what you said? Exactly two yes, have the same. Yes, two of the factor builds have the same. Yeah. Um, but factor could have built anything. Like, any architecture. Like, any. Yes, but there are more. Um, so, if there are more factor than Sternweiler, and yeah. um, there are like. Okay. Uh, more factor than Sternweiler. Uh, so th th that means that m there must be at least four, like, the right factor. Yes. And exactly two have the same. So it, that means two of the same, and then one, uh, and one is manufactured by Sternweiler as well. Um, so that there, there can be like yeah. two and two. Uh, so there's probably like two. One one, I, I'd say. Um, the Samsung have a quad core. To the Samsung we have a linear type processor. We can't be sure. It can be both linear or quad. Um, like it's possible, but it's like not sure for sure. Two of the Samsung robots were built by Sternweiler. Two of the Samsung robots have multiplex processor. Five of the Samsung robots were built by Factor. Um, four of the same robots have multiplex process. I, I'd say this is like there are four, and uh, by factor and three by uh, Sternweiler. All right. Three of the seven robots were built by Sternweiler. Correct. Here is the third question. The facts are still unchanged. Okay. Which of the following types of processor architecture might you find in a probability test built by Sternweiler? Multiplex. Yeah, that's it. There's literally multiplex. only multiplex. <laughs> well, it seems we underestimated you, my friend. I'm uploading the facts of our dispute to your data pouch. Please, take some time to consider, and let us know when you are ready to hear our arguments. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else that we can ask them? Um, yeah. I'm ready to hear your arguments. Excellent, excellent. My dear friend. This is not a difficult case. In the primordium, it was once said, ten people have ten ideas, and twenty idle hands. Wise Horatio, long years have passed, but the principle remains true. Did Cornelius have the idea for my beloved Rex? I can see he did. But who built him with his own claws and tools? Who hammered and soldered and wired Rex? That would be my humble self. Wise Horatio, a robot's fabric has the suffix of built, not designed. And Rex is Oswald built, no matter who designed him. Okay. It makes a good case, boss. What about you, Cornelius? Ah, if you're so smart, you can figure this out for yourself. The question isn't what built Rex, but who built him? Your little friend there isn't named Hammer built or Plasma Torch built. You call him Horatio built. Every robot uses tools to build. Oswald was merely a tool, a tool with tools. 
My vision was the creative force. And if you disagree, then you can go and rust in the rain. Hmm. What do you think, boss? Who gets to take credit? Um. Cornelius? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like, know. <laughs> is there a correct answer, or it is just uh, up to us to like make a decision of what we personally think? Um, I, I really have no idea. I mean, since I am now uh, like in the whole scientific uh, community, although I'm not mm -hmm. really enjoying it, but uh, when you actually implement something that someone el el someone else came up with. You ac get like zero respect for doing that, uh, even if it's like yeah. really, really um, hard to do so. Yeah. And if you think of just a little tiny bit, to, uh, like a tiny way to improve an existing algorithm, uh, then it's like all good. <laughs> so thinking of something uh. new is appreciated much, much more than actually uh, like building something or implementing something in our field. Mm -hmm. So. Um, by that logic, uh, logic is definitely uh, the oh. robot in the <laughs> top hat. No, 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 Ed Cornelius. That's Cornelius. Yeah. Cornelius is right. The mind that conceives a robot is the builder, not the hands that put it together. Rex Cornelius built is his name. Surely, sir, you have misspoken. No, I have not. You asked me to judge, and I have. What, what, what? <laughs> You are smarter than you look, Horatio. Take this as a sign of my appreciation. I have been told the dates to the primordium itself. Come on, Rex. I, th I guess it doesn't really matter who you choose, it's just to make them move. Yeah, exactly. Um... But still, well, this was fun, um, although I'm uh, obviously a bit, uh, uh, it's, it, it's hard, to, I, I'm finding it hard to really focus you know, boss, however today. However miserable um, it may be to go around solving other robots problems, and it is miserable, it, at least it beats standing in line and waiting for a door to open like these gearboxes are doing. I'm, I'm, I, I, I like this, this, these puzzles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Like, not tough, it just, uh, maybe if I, I wrote them down. But anyway, we managed to do, to, to solve them, uh, without making a mistake. Please so, well, keep okay. information. Uh, I guess we need to wait our turn. Okay, uh, so there's just one guy in front of us now. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I don't think it can hear you, boss. And there's nothing we can do with him. Um, I'm just thinking about the code for the bridge. Um, was there... Uh, was this robot... Uh, well, selling or trading... Uh, a... Uh, like a mind reader thing or something like that? I don't know, but we do have our signal thingamajig. That looks like a... Signal transmitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Maybe we can use that to communicate. I don't know. It's what a silver is? disc with a faded image embossed on its front. Hmm. Can we use it? <laughs> a machine okay. belt. We also got this car engine. Hmm. Well, we can go here as well. What's here? Okay. Sad robot. I am waiting. 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 For what? My bus. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. It will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. I must go home. Metromind will take me home. Does it mean that we need to fix the bus? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I am waiting. Okay, here it is. Okay, um, hmm. Waiting area, okay, that's uh, here. Um, I just wanted to see. Um, hmm. Just a second. Mm -hmm. When 
me see your stuff. Come take a look. A memory access device. A memory oh. access device. I'll trade it for something real antique and fancy. Do we have something real antique and fancy? I think so, the disc. Maybe. You wanted something antique and fancy. How about the silver disc? Yes. A fine train, Tyro. Here's the memory access device. Now, all you need to do is plug it into a data pouch. Mm -hmm. But there's no plug. Never said there was. Okay. We have a plug. We have a plug, yes. That was easy. And we have a data pouch. Even easier. Nice. Okay. So what can we do with this um, device? Uh, I guess we should find out in the next part, since this would be a good uh, place to end this one. Yep.